Creating a prediction build and what's next? Creating a prediction build. In this video, we will discover what a prediction build is and create our own prediction build. So, what is a prediction build? Let's have a look in our current project. If we open the package.json file, we can see that our build script is simply calling the ng build command. This command will compile the Angular application to a folder called a dist. But we don't want to use the default build, which is a development build. When we created the project with the Angular CLI, a production configuration was automatically generated. To use it, we need to add the dash dash prod option. So let's add it. Let's see what the production build actually does. To do that, let's open the angular.json. If we scroll down to configurations and then production, we can find the production configuration with the different options that are enabled here. So the first one, optimization, it will reduce the size of our bundle with tree shaking and unused code removal, the removal of white spaces and the renaming of properties. It works with just-in-time and ahead-of-time compilation. This field, the AOT, is ahead-of-time compilation. So Angular supports just-in-time compilation, but with just-in-time compilation, the application is compiled in the browser. And it means we have to ship your code with the Angular compiler. By enabling AOT, you avoid those two steps, which makes your bundle much smaller. Then we have the build optimizer. It's an additional optimization when ahead of time compilation is used. Since we are compiling our code at build time, extra optimization are available. You can also specify budgets. So what are budgets? They allow you to specify the file size limits to make sure you don't end up with very big chunks. Now, if you need to create a production build and use the script here that we created, you can simply type npm run build and this will run the ng build dash dash prod. After the build is done, you will see a dist folder here appear. So this is your website, as you would deploy it. And if you deploy it, you will have your Angular website up and running.